Hi, this is Emily Azlanian with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm sitting here at San Diego Comic-Con with Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, Futurama, and now Disenchantment. Disenchantment, three. Yeah. Three in a row. Three for three. Disenchantment. How long were you working on that concept? My whole life, really. I mean, I, ever since I've been reading and uh, hearing fairy tales growing up, I just remember as a kid with my friends, we would, uh, we would somebody had a, a collection of dinosaurs. Uh, my other friend had a collection of, of Spartans, and we used to fight the Spartans <laughs> and the dinosaurs. You know, Why set not? Up, we called them <laughs> setups. Nice. And the whole fun was doing the setup, and and mm -hmm. in a way, animation is just more of that. You create your own wor world, and you populate with as many characters as you can, and then you set them free. And they say things and do things because you're working with other people and doing a it's a collaborative effort. So they say stuff that I never even thought of. Tell me about. Princess P and who she is and why you wanted her to be the central character it's, on this one. We all wanted to have, for once, a female lead. Don't right. you think it's about time? <laughs> it is. She's, she's, uh, she's hard drinking, she's kick ass, and she doesn't wear high heels. And sure. she, doesn't look like, she doesn't look like a conventional yeah. princess, okay? And she doesn't act like one. And she's played by Abby Jacobson. Who from is Bro awesome. Awesome from Broad City. And Abby <laughs> brought so much to the part. We thought we knew what we were doing with Bean uh, when we first started and she came to the part and just added a whole level of feminism that we That's didn't even great. dream of. Yes. That is so cool. Princess Bean has two companions. Elfo, Elfo played by Nack Faxon, yeah. and Lucy the Demon, played by Eric Andre. Yeah. All the three of those main actors have in common is they're all writers, uh, actors, and directors. Right. And so they improvised a lot of the lines. Nice. And then on top of that, we have the cast of Futurama. We have John DiMaggio who played Bender. He's King Zog. Yeah. And Tress McNeil. I didn't know that. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. And David Herman and Billy West. How bonkers is this show going to get? Because I feel like something fantasy driven, you can go off the rails. Wherever you think we are going, <laughs> you will be surprised. Okay. You, you, if you think you can predict the direction of this show, you can't. This is your first Netflix show, so yes. what drew you to doing a show on a streaming platform after you've been on Fox and on broadcast for years? It is fun not to be selling a breakfast cereal <laughs> every 10 minutes. The episodes are longer than right. network television. Yeah, they're like 35 minutes? So, well, one of them is, yes. Okay. Uh, no commercial breaks. Right. And you don't, like on regular sitcom television, my entire career, you, uh, you do a reset. The, the mm. show ends up where it starts, so you can watch the episodes in whatever order you want. Right. With Netflix, because it's streaming, you, you, don't, you can do you cliffhangers. Binge. Yes, you binge. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome.